Hey YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today I've got a real quick one for you. I will be doing a longer video in a couple of days and updating you on all the things I've been doing and, and finding in the last week or so. I've been doing a lot of gigapan work and they're taking a lot of time. I've got two of them up here. We've got this one here, Perseverance Sol 132 ML, that's mass left. And then we have the same one, mass right, MR, okay? And we have this weird thing here. Now, this is very strange. I don't know what this is. It seems to represent some kind of creature, either a bird or a reptile or whatever. I really don't know what it is. And I'm hoping some of you out there might have some ideas what you think it might be, because I'm struggling with this one a bit. Now, so far, we've seen lots of what look a bit like dogs and cat-like animals um, in, in these Perseverance images so far on my channel that I've been showing, but also lots of other weird animals as well that don't really conform to anything we have on Earth. And that is to be expected. Uh, this is a good example of that. And basically, I've got the left and the right image here. This is the left, and this is the right. So you can see the right one is actually slightly better and less blurred. Now, when, um, when the rover takes these images, of course, it's on a, quite a steady platform, which is a robot, obviously. And the, the mass cam is on the what I would call the head of the rover, which, which is on a swivel, like a neck, and looks round like a human head does. And occasionally there would be a gust of wind or something that might vibrate that very slightly, which means sometimes when you get a set of images, say a hundred images, for instance, you're going to get one or two out of those hundred quite often that are going to be blurred. And that's the case here. And um, that's why this one is slightly more blurry than this one, because it was, wasn't taken at the same time, and there may have been a small gust of wind or vibration causing a little bit of motion blur when the, the photograph was taken. Now, if that was a human taking the photographs, there would be a lot more motion blur in these images than we're getting. So part of the reason why these images are good um, is the fact that it's a robot taking them, okay? And uh, if it was a human stood there with a camera taking 100 photos or over 100 photos, all in a in sequence, a lot of them wouldn't line up and a lot more of them would be blurred because you wouldn't really be able to hold your arm that steady for that long and not get some kind of motion blur and blurring in the images, okay? So, right, I've done a little meme clip here. Now, I still don't know what this is. I really don't know what to call this thing. But there's the left image I just showed you and here's the right one. These have been enhanced very slightly, colour corrected and contrast added, okay? But you can see they're not very different from the actual raw ones here. Um, they're a bit bluer and slightly darker shadow, shadows by about 10 or 15% or something, but not, really not a lot. Um, as you can see, there's very little discrepancy between these and the, that one I just showed you. Mainly they're bluer, okay? And what we've got here is, is some weird stuff. And I really cannot work out what this is. Um, what we have is an ear with inner detail there, okay? The head sort of comes up like this. There are one or two objects behind this which are making the outline a bit obscured, okay? This is the head. There's a sort of beak there, okay? Comes around like that, obviously. And we have what looks like an eye here. And either an eye here or an, an eye there. I can't quite work out which. There is a, a roundish object or part there, okay? So it looks like this may be a side-on view or partly side-on view from the left of this thing and it's facing to the right this way. This is what seems to be a beak or, or a snout of some sort, right? And it kind of looks a bit clearer this side. If you look at the eye detail here, it kind of looks a bit more detailed than this one. Is it a reptilian? Is it a bird? Is it some other kind of creature? Is it a carved? Is it part of a statue? It may well be. It might not be. I have shown what look like remains in the area, dead creatures and, and fossils and stuff like that. So it could be either. Unfortunately, even though this is quite large, if we look on the uh, Gigapan, even though this is quite large, the detail isn't amazing. And it's right near the middle of this gigapan, okay? I've marked it there, it's right near the center. 
above this large rock here, just above. And there it is. And how big is it? Well, I would say this is probably 30 feet away. And it's quite large. I would say this is about a foot in width or length from there to there. It could be eight inches, could be 12. It could even be a bit more, but I would say around 10 or 12 inches. I'll go over that thing again in a minute. There, there are some weird rocks perched. There's one over here perched on this sort of um, rock here, which almost looks like it's hovering, okay? In fact, this, this looks better in the left, the mass left version. In the mass right version, it's slightly blurred. This is much sharper if I use the magnifier. Really odd, and a few people have pointed this out. It's kind of perched on this little rock here. But at a glance, it looks like it's hovering because the shadow is sort of like that underneath. It's really weird. It's not hovering, obviously. It's, it's perched on that rock. And this, actually, when you see it from the other angle, there are other angles of this. Now, this um, Gigapan was the larger one of this uh, set. Um, this is uh, Sol 132. Now, there is a smaller Gigapan of this area as well, and it's not zoomed in as far, but we can see different details on here, okay? Like, this thing seems to have two eyes. You can just about make out an eye there and an eye there. Now, that may be an optical trick. I don't know. But this may be a statue. There seems to be an eye here and an eye there. But who knows? And possibly a, a, a snout and a little mouth there. So this may be an actual carving of some kind of creature or person or whatever. And uh, one or two people have done clips of this already. It's weird. When you see it from the, the smaller pan, which I've also got here, it looks actually much more like some kind of weird statue. Now, this is obviously blurred because it's taken from less zoom. But you can see in this version, we've got detail just here, but there's also detail in the eyes. You can see that eye there and that eye there, and the snout, and the mouth. It's very blurry, but this is a slightly different angle and from further back. Obviously, when you go further back with the zoom, um, you're going to lose detail, but you can see around the object more. Okay? But you can see those two eyes. I haven't enhanced this. I'll put clips of that in, 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 in the end of the video. There's also this thing as well, which I've, I'm not sure about. This may just be a rock, but it seems to have something carved on it. Which kind of looks a bit like sort of sun face or something here sticking out with a mouth with teeth here. You can see these teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six. A snout and some weird eyes. But this is really distorted and eroded. And I'm not sure about it, but it kind of looks like a carved face of some kind of weird creature. I don't know what. Um, I could be wrong. I'll put some more clips of these in in a minute anyway. And if I find anything else in here, I'll put those up as well. Uh, but I've literally only just uploaded these like this morning and, and this afternoon. And I really haven't searched this Gigapan yet. This is really large, this Gigapan. And I've just done a really quick, basic search. And uh, this was the, the main thing I found, um, which actually looks better in the right version of the uh, Gigapan here. But that's super weird. And I don't know what it represents. So please leave a comment below. I don't know what it is. If you've got any ideas, you can see that round sort of eye-like th thing there and the beak here coming around and the ear detail just here. But it may not be an ear, maybe something else. Um, who knows? So the point is with this, what, what I initially thought was that this is an eye here and this was the other eye. And the beak obviously comes round. And this looks like an ear with inner detail, like I said. Okay. And you can see that that dark thing there doesn't is not joined to it because it's separate on this side. So the head actually is a bit kind of obscured here. It's not great. The edge of the head there, I think, sort of comes to there. Like that. But we've got these weird bits of crap behind it in the distance, which are obscuring the edge detail. Often happens with these images. This looks like an eye here, and another one here. But we've got these sort of um, other things here, 
as well, and this thing. Now, some of the reptilians I've shown before, the reptile type reptoids and things like that I've, that I've shown in Gale Crater, um, they have these weird plates on their head, armoured plating, right? And this looks like one of those, here, behind the eye, just here, this thing. Because that doesn't really conform to anything you would see on a normal mammal. So the question is, what is this thing? Is it a bird? Is it a reptile? Is it something else? It may be some type of creature that we've never seen before, which is why I'm struggling with it. Because really, we can only compare to things we've seen on Earth and elsewhere. Um, but due to the fact that I've found so many things on Mars, I do have quite a wide perspective on these things. But I'm still getting tripped up by it all the time. And I'm sure we're all missing many things on the ground that we don't recognise because they just don't look familiar to us. In other words, they represent creatures that, um, that we, we just don't know about. And maybe some sort of weird hybrids of different types of creatures or, or they may have been experimented on. They may even have had mutations from the radiation or something like that, which made them have strange features. And I have shown many uh, of these on, on Mars that seem to have um, mutations in the facial area where they've probably been subjected to vast amounts of radiation and uh, such like. So that is also a factor we need to, to bear in mind. Okay, so that was it really. I'll put some clips of similar things that I found, but I haven't really found anything quite like this before. Um, but I'll put some in anyway, just to see if any of them do match up. It's very strange, very strange indeed. So thanks for watching everybody. Clips coming up now. <laughs>